um, this is exactly how how I feel about the uh, um, sinner's prayer, and and I totally agree one hundred percent with um, Ed on, on this. I, okay, we'll play. Good afternoon. In this video, I want to deal with the issue of the sinner's prayer again and and the confusion it causes. Uh, Gene Kim just put a video out talking about uh, you see the. Uh, why Calvinists, the Calvinists hate the sinner's prayer for salvation. The fact is, is there is no sinner's prayer for salvation. That's salvation right. is by faith alone. And um, I'll show you the uh, the fact that these guys think that's, that, that, that sinner's prayer is part of salvation. Now remember, he said up it the thing A, B, and C. Uh, acknowledging the sin, acknowledging the sinner. Pete B from uh, North Ride Church, I believe the sinner's prayer is for, from Satan. And, I, uh, and I'm to totally be, against belief. it. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, that you believe he died for your sins. That's right, And eh? um, you're trusting him for your salvation. Yep. Here's where you're saved. C is confession. Now, confession is a natural outgrowth of a belief. We are acknowledging, acknowledging your salvation. You want to see a, a case that I go to Acts 8, where the Ethiopian eunuch confessed what he believed. He was a saved man believing that uh, they believe in the Son of God who died for them. Yep. That's a confession. These guys mix in uh, a uh, confession with uh, a, uh, the prayer, which shows that they don't believe what they're, what they're actually saying they believe. Here's uh, uh, Gene Kim's, uh, his website, the Bible Baptist Church International. Here's their, uh, their uh, track. And this is, uh, these, he says, those verses are the true words of God that I don't want you to get saved. Please pray. Please, please pray to receive Jesus as your Savior. Not believe. P please, please pray to receive Jesus as your Savior. So they're denying that salvation is by faith. They're saying you have to pray to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. Uh, it says here, this is in the Bible. Dear God, I am a sinner who deserves to go to hell. I repent of my sin. What sin? It doesn't say. Uh, the only sin you repent of is unbelief. The uh, yep. you repent of your unbelief, and that's what that's what the issue of repentance is. That's right. The believer, you repent from unbelief to belief, and that's what you change your mind about. Yep. Um, you don't repent of your sins. That's uh, right. The sins lead you to repent uh, that you uh, of your unbelief, but that you don't repent of your sins. Please forgive me. And what is that about? Please forgive me. You either believe that Christ uh, uh, forgave you, or you don't. Yep. Uh, there's nothing in it about please forgive me. He's done it all on now the cross 2,000 years See, now ago. They, they put on, they, in the beginning, they tack on all this nonsense. that has nothing to do with confessing salvation. Now here's the confession. I believe that Jesus is God who died on the cross, shed his blood from all my sins, was buried and rose again from the dead. Thank you for saving me from hell. In the name of Lord Jesus, I pray. Yeah, that's fine. That part is fine. That's, that's a saved man. Yep. Giving thanks for being saved. But the first part has nothing to do with salvation, and you don't pray pray to receive Jesus as your Savior. You believe, believe. in Jesus uh, for your salvation. You yep. believe in Him that He died for your sins in the cross. You don't ask and Him to forgive you. You don't ask and Him you to trust save you. The blood. you. Believe that He did save you. He did die on the cross for your sins. And Jesus. So here they mix in a, a, a legitimate That's part confession. Of the work. When the person Which actually says that he's believing that Jesus is God and that He died for his sins, with a false view. Uh, the uh, 11, they, they add an 11 there, and they think this sinner's prayer is how you get saved. Uh, it is not. You it get isn't. saved by believing, yep. not by praying. And that says there, I believe. That's, it is the salvation. I believe. believe. That is where the salvation comes in, believing in what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. Right. Not praying, not asking, but believing. Yep. And uh, the same, Welcome had the same problem. He goes here in his uh, a simplicity of uh, salvation. He has here his sinner's prayer. Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner, and unless you save me, I am lost forever. I now come to you the best way I know how and ask you to save me. See, that's not a confession of faith. That's not, that's not a saved man yep. saying what, he's, what he believes. It's, just, it's, a, it's a, a person who now doesn't believe that Christ saved him, now asking him to save him. I receive you as my Lord and Savior and trust you to forget, for, I trust you to forgive and justify me, so then why are you asking the Savior? It doesn't make any sense. Yep. If you trust that, that he will save you, why are you asking that he, that he do it? 
and present me without fault before uh, God's throne in the day of judgment. This is the confusion of the sinner's prayer. And this is why it's nonsense. And yep. uh, uh, Gene Kim there, he wants to say that this is part of salvation. You, you pray to receive Jesus as you save me? No. And then he puts in, I believe. That's what, get you saved. That's what gets you saved. Believing what Jesus Christ did for you. Not praying for it. Believing yep. in it. And the uh, confession that comes after is acknowledging as a saved man what Christ did for you. That's what salvation entails. So this sin is prayer not it's just nonsense. It is. It's nonsense put in there by guys who think that want to make sure they've covered all the bases dealing with a, a lost soul, and therefore they put in this this uh, this this nonsense in there about the uh, uh, please forgive me God and 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 please uh, you know please forgive me and I I, I repent of my sins and and I I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and then they add on the uh, the true stuff, which is believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and then they defend the prayer saying well see see it's optional not the first part. You've negated the second part by the first part. And it's totally unnecessary. What saves a man is faith, faith. in the Lord Jesus Christ, what yep. he did for him on the cross. And a person Including trusting totally the in, not asking time. for salvation, not repenting of their sins, not saying a prayer, not praying, God, please this or please that, not contrition in your heart, like Brian Denlinger wants to teach. Because God doesn't care about your heart or how, you, say, or how you feel about your sins. There's one thing, one thing only God is looking for. Faith. Faith. What, what are you trusting in? Are you trusting in him, him for your salvation? Or are you trusting in you, yeah. your own flesh, your own, yep. your own works? That is the difference. That's Everything else man puts in there, that adds in there, has nothing to do with scripture. It's man's emotions. Because man thinks that, that that should be in there. Because he, he doesn't, you know, uh, God, can't, God can't make it this simple. He's going to put in these little emotional stuff in there. I, I felt contrition in my heart. And I, and, uh, I, received, I, I, I prayed to God and that he, he received and I repented of my sins. This is, this is the sinner's prayer. That's what Pastor Tom Hughes from the 412 Church uh, 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 says, repent of your, your sin, sins. And, and Pastor Tom Hughes is leading thousands and thousands of people to hell with a false gospel. And, and Peter from North Ride Church, Giving your life to Jesus, that sinners, which is the sinner's prayer, there's nothing, nowhere in the Bible, it says to give your life to Jesus for salvation. It's not in there, right? I'm 100% against the sinner's prayer. And, and, and I believe the sinner's prayer is nonsense. And, and I totally agree with, with Ed here. Cumulation, this well accumulates in that nonsense. That's why... It is, it, is, it is garbage. It is nonsense. A person either believes in the gospel or he doesn't. Yep. He doesn't have to pray a prayer about That's it. That's right. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, the soul winner just has to confirm that the person has believed in that gospel. In fact, that's what water baptism is for, getting a person in, into water baptism where the person asked the, indiv the individual who's being baptized is asked, what, do you, what are you believing in? You're identifying with the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's, that's what the water right. baptism is a witness. Uh, to that testimony. You don't pray for salvation. You don't pray to receive Christ. You believe. believe. And we're not told to pray for anything regarding that. We're told to uh, pr uh, to believe in it. Salvation is by faith alone. It's not about adding repentance for sins uh, or a sinner's prayer at the end to make the soul winner feel good that, that this individual, I, I know this individual is saved because he said he said my prayer. he got different prayers. Everyone's got a little different prayers. So how do you know? You know but he, I, I've covered all the bases. Uh, you know, I've covered, I made sure that he was really contrite, and I made sure that he was really sad about those sins, and I made sure that, you know, he's repenting those sins, and he's going to turn his life around. And so I, I got that in there. So I know now when he says he believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, that he's truly believed because he's had that contrition in his heart, and, and he's repented of his sins, and he, he's, you know, he's, he's begging God to, to, to forgive him. So I've got him in the right state of, of, of emotion. Garbage. Garbage. You can't tell if a man's believing or not. Yep. So when a person says believe in Jesus Christ, you have to, there's no way of knowing it. He's either going to believe or not. You don't yeah. know that. That's what these soul winners want. They want certainty for themselves. So I've, I've covered, I, you know, he says this prayer, he must be saved. You don't know anything whether the guy is saved or not. The fact is, either the person who believes or not, you give him the scriptures. You give him the scriptures and you let him know. And the gospel, the, 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 which Pastor do Tom Lee doesn't. You to believe the facts, the facts of the gospel, or he's not. And all this soul, this all this, this this making up sinners' prayers to make sure that this guy, you've covered all your bases, so the soul winner can feel good that he, I, I know this guy's saved because he said that sinners' prayer is nonsense, and that's why 
uh, 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 true believers hate the sinner's prayers, sinner prayer, because it is nothing but man-made, uh, man-made uh, 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 nonsense to corrupt the gospel. Amen. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Ed, and and I agree a hundred percent with Ed, and I've. Uh, North Ride Church, Jay Downer's comment. Uh, amen and amen, brother. Very, very well uh, said. I absolutely detest the sinner's prayer. God bless. And me too, I said. Me too, Jay. Well, we just Jay Downer. And, and I do detest the sinner's prayer. It's complete nonsense. Okay. Thank you.